Hey everyone, welcome back. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. We got a really neat one today. So this is the number one deck, Star City Games, Columbus. The guy's name, Brian Cooper. He put this together and he took first place in this weekend's uh, Magic the Gathering tournament in standard. Pretty amazing. So let's just go over the deck really quick and see what all he ran. And then we're going to go and test play it out. We already know it works, so... We're going to have some fun with it. Adanto Vanguard. He's running four copies as long as Adanto Vanguard is attacking. Gets plus two, plus zero. Pay four life. Adanto Vanguard gains indestructible until end of turn. It looks like that paying four life it fits well in this deck because there's quite a bit of life link and life gain in this deck. Knight of Grace. First strike, hexproof from black. Knight of Grace gets plus one, plus zero as long as any player controls a black permanent. It's a two, two. He's running four copies of it. Four copies Lightning Strike, deals three damage on any target. Four copies History of Benalia. As you guys know, it's an amazing saga. Create a 2 2 White Knight creature token with Vigilance uh, in the first and second uh, turns of this saga. And then on the third turn, Knights you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Pretty powerful. Resplendent Angel, three drop. We're going to run four copies of Resplendent also. Flying at the beginning of each end step. If you gained five or more life this turn, create a four for a white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. And then for six, until end of turn, Resplendent Angel gets plus two, plus two, and gains lifelink. Three, copy, three, copies, three copies of Deafening Clarion. It is a three drop sorcery. Choose one or both. Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature. Or creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. It makes sense in this deck for sure, uh, especially with Resplendent Angel being in here. And that you can deal three damage to each creature. I mean, you can board wipe a bunch of tokens with it. Pretty neat. One copy of Johnny, Adversary of Tyrants. Uh, pretty neat Planeswalker. Fits in this deck quite well. Two Conclave Tribunals. It's got the Convoke. When Conclave Tribunal enters the battlefield, exile target on land permanent and opponent controls until Conclave Tribunal leaves the battlefield. Three copies of Voice of Plenty. Flying, you, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. Pretty amazing. It's a 3-4. Exemplar of Justice. Running three copies. Flying and Mentor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one target creature you control. Until end of turn, that creature gets plus 2, plus 0. Gains Trample if it's red, and gains Vigilance if it's white. It's a 2-5. Amazing card. Another amazing card, Angels O Plenty, man. Uh, the old Dawnbringer, Flying, First Strike, Lifelink, very powerful Angel. We're not going to see this price drop anytime soon on Dawnbringer. Other energy control, get plus one, plus one, and have Lifelink. It's a 5-5, five, five, very strong. Four copies of it. Twelve Plains, five Mountains, four Clifftop Retreats, four Sacred Foundries. Now, you probably noticed right here. 61 cards. That's right. 61 cards. Not 60. 61 cards. First place. Try to argue that one. Sideboard. Four seal aways. Basically for extra removal, obviously. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. As Sorcerer's Spyglass enters the battlefield, look at an opponent's hand. Then choose any card name. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name. Can't be activated unless they are mana abilities. Another uh, extra deafening clarion. And Ixalan's Binding. Three Settle the Wreckage. Just a nice board wipe. Uh, Voice of Plenty. And three Bane Fires. Deals X damage on any target. If X is five or more, the spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. Awesome card. There's the deck. Let's get into test playing it. Make sure you thumbs up the video. It does mean a lot. And if you enjoyed this deck tech and any others, make sure you share them as well. Let's get into it. What does his name say? I don't like we only have two lands. I like that we have lower stuff here, but I'm, I got a mulligan that. I don't like that hand. This is slow. But I don't like mulligan too far. Perfect. I'm glad that's there. Okay, I feel a lot better now. As long as we've got three lands coming up soon, it's, it's not bad. Okay, that's the turn. Don't grab should I? I laugh he grabs a Johnny. I'm like, okay. He grabbed uh Exemplar. Wow, okay. Fair I say, fair. Pass okay, turn. Okay. 
Tifa Sandy, cool card. Now we got Resplendent. I'm assuming he's gonna strike this down. No, he polished. Okay. Start a card. Well, I mean, I really don't want to, but if I have to, I'll discard that. Cool. We're gonna go Chalet, boy, something. And no attacks. This could be an interesting matchup, I and mean, we've got Flyer versus Flyer right now, man. Yikes! Is he gonna shock him? I mean, that would really hurt my feelings. Cliff top retreat again. Go Johnny. Put some counters on stuff. It is good to see you. I will lend you my strength. No attacks yet. Gotta wait one more turn before we start swinging in on this dude. I'm nervous what he's got in his hand. And that bolus, man. He's one turn away from, from, uh, from making it big and bad. Deliver us to victory. One attacker. 5-5, five, five, baby. Boosh! Hit him for 5. Down to 20. Uh-oh, if he drops a land, this could be bad. This could be game ending. This game, uh-oh. We had nothing to take rid of. We had nothing to take rid of. This witness omnipotence. I know he goes to the draw two cards done. first. I'm not surprised he did that. I gotta go after his planeswalker. Have to. With everything. Starting to annoy me. Interesting. Nice. Now, what are you gonna do, Bullis? I always oh, have right. Draw a ridiculous amount of cards. <laughs> I mean, he needs something big. He needs a board wiper or something, or he's in he's in real big trouble. Got him. Sweet. Another one in the books. That was fun. Joey Moss first sundown. Let's go. I'm gonna keep it. Well, we'll be drawing us something fantastic. Like a land. Sweet. That's what we wanted. Lady Grace next turn. Opponent. Boros. Boros. Okay. Boros. Boros. Dealing more damage. We will slow our opponent down, hopefully. A little bit, maybe. With Knight of Grace. At least, uh, that vampire can't attack. Challenger is a threat. We did draw another land, which is amazing. We're going to need all those. When it takes out our knight. Now, with two Dawnbringers in hand, I mean, this this could be won. This, this, man, this game could be won easily, if played correctly. So let's make sure we do that. Um, I think at this point, before anything else, I'll just do this. Let's just deal damage to everything. That'll at least take out two of his cards. Okay, we got one out. I'm glad he used that now. That plus two, plus two. Drops a second Legion's Landing to get the Vampire token out. We'll take 
Deuce. No, the Resplendent Angel. That's cool. And we got the other planes we needed for our Lyric Dawnbringer. This could be devastating. Bone doesn't have a lightning strike. He is in doo doo. Opponent's coming in. Not gonna block that. Hopefully, we don't get lightning struck. Much of Bugler. We can deal with that. We are definitely gonna use our Dawnbringer right now. The game should be wrapped up pretty quick here now. For lifelink, 4-4. Four, four. I think opponent realizes he's in some serious trouble now. We do have History of Benalia, which will make things even more ridiculous. And if any of these are lost, we can easily replace them. Opponent realizes what's going on there and quits the game. That was won smoothly. Love it. Up against Johnny Castle. Let's see what Johnny Castle's all about. Live streams tomorrow, by the way. Uh, tomorrow night. All right. Mm, do, 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 do. Keeping it. A bit slow, but then again, this deck is not that fast. It just kind of maintains. Kind of a bummer we couldn't do anything turn two. Uh, I'll definitely take that out. Oh, yeah. Adios. Vamanos. Vamanos, muchachos. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, we'll get out the resplendent. I'm sure you can take that out with, with ease, but... The nice thing is, it's going to have a little bit of a problem taking out this Dawnbringer. As it's by means of counter. Sacred Foundry, yeah. Alright, well, might as well drop one of the Sacred Foundries now. We'll never enter tap. And then just attack. And return. And then next turn we can drop our planes <coughs> to bring out Dawnbringer. Oh, perfect. Good job, buddy. Now I don't gotta worry about my Dawnbringer being uh, countered, which is gonna be a pain in the butt for me to get rid of him. Okay, because he wanted to draw a card really bad. And he did just that. Well, that's amazing. And now we're going to attack with our 4 4. I don't think he's going to want to block, but as Enigma, I think be a terrible idea. 13. Really cool deck. I like this deck. I like playing with Angels. I don't know what your guys' favorite like type is, but my favorite is definitely Angels. I, just, I love playing with them. Like, if I can play with them all day, like, if I could have her in my bedroom right now with her and all of her uh, little groupy angel friends, I would do that. Uh, and I would have a really, really good time. Such a good time I'd win the game. Oh, man. What a fun little deck here, huh? Let's do, it, uh, let's do another one. One more. We are up against the old Bygone. We are up against the by God. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I like that we have four lands. Honestly, that's really, really good. In this, in this matchup, or well, three or four, I'll go with either or. But I like four, especially when I have a Dawnbringer in hand. That's huge. So we're going to keep this. This is going to be a little slow on the draw. So hopefully we don't go up against anything too aggressive. If we do, we could be in a world of hurt. I'll drop Sacred Foundry first, enter tap, pass turn. Alright. Dude. Voice plenty. Pass the turn. Now things are going to get out of hand. From this point moving forward, we're on curve. Bottom. Glad you dropped that now, sir. I think we're gonna roll. Probably lightning strike. I'm gonna lightning strike this thing, whatever. 
Things are gone. Cool. Now I believe we want to roll. I guess we'll go Shalai first. I think that was a good move. I'm not positive. And he does have black, so he can take it out. Probably should have went Resplendent first. Yeah, I should have gone Resplendent first. Because we have two in hand. Because now if this is exiled or destroyed. Well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's not going that route. At least not yet. Okay, cool. I feel better. Yay about your stuff. Bobringer for sure. Things massive and nasty off. Yeah, we'll swing in. Why not? Excellent. Really fun deck. This is an extremely fun deck to play with. If you haven't built it, if you'd like to build it, I highly recommend it. It's, it's fun. Uh, another Dumbringer. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to go Resplendent. Wow, that was... Yeah, he just said, no, thank you. Uh, opponent quit, and I don't blame him. Really fun deck. All right. Skadoosh. We're getting straight dubbing over here. Let's see what dubbing's got. Someone's like, it's dubbing, stupid. It's dubbing. Ooh, looking slow, but we're going to keep it. I get nervous when I see... I, I won't. I don't want to play two lands. If I have two lands for a start... With this deck, no way will I keep it, because it, it's just not good. Because um, then I get screwed, and I have no means of playing my Dawnbringer. It's terrible. I have lost a couple matches, just like testing out the deck before I started recording. Uh, so I don't look like a noob playing the deck, but... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Very fun. It's a fun deck. Um, I probably should have taken out the Ranger first. That's okay. No blocks on that. Another Ranger. Dang. He had a really lucky draw. We're going to have to slow this dude's pace somehow. I just, I don't know, I, I got him. I got him. Too much of a threat. No attack. But now with the first strike, he, he can't really make a move right now, so it buys us some time. This guy is an exploring fool. Incredible. You should have the perk where every time you explore, you explore again or something. Christ, what was that? Four, five, five times you explored already. That is madness. Really, really is. Uh, yeah, might as well drop the plane. And then we'll just do double Vanguard. Could have attacked there. He would have had to have blocked with two guys, but. We'll wait. At least, like, we can protect our life total right now until we get some bigger stuff out. Another Jade Light. It just doesn't stop, does it? Unbelievable. Where's my one card to wipe everything? That'd be cool. That is not it. Alright. Gonna drop the planes. Might as well go Dawnbringer now. We are going to a swing in actually with all these players. Well, why not? Yep. Uh, yep. Fine by me. Because the next turn we block uh, with her. Whatever. We gained five life off that. I believe that's broken. I don't think you should gain the five life. I think you can only gain life equal to your opponent's defense. That's my opinion, though. I don't know. We got six, we need seven. We don't got enough, so that'll come in tapped. And then definitely drop this. Uh, 
And then, uh, yeah, let's swing away. Both of them. I mean, we might as well swing with everything. Who cares? And I'll play for our life just once, because if we do it again, we die. Very, very nice. And turn. I think we would die. If I made more life and I was a zero, I think we'd be dead, right? Would it happen that instant, or like does it have to like complete until the end step? I don't know how that works. End step, maybe? It has to go to end step. No, it doesn't. We would have been dead. We would have been dead for sure. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Definitely hit the like button. It does mean a lot to me. And uh, really, it means more to you if you hit the like button. Because it doesn't mean what you think. When you hit the like button, all it's telling YouTube is that you enjoyed the content. It's not helping people find that video. Believe it or not, it doesn't do any of that whatsoever. It just tells YouTube you enjoy it. So then you will come back around to it. Uh, it'll be in your feed. It'll appear, you know. Uh, so now you know. There you go. PLA.